The fifth edition of the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East kicks off with rounds one and two at Bahrain International Circuit. The excitement and anticipation couldn't be higher as the leading motorsport series in the region is the first one to introduce the all-new Porsche 911 GT3 Cup car. Competition will be even more fierce this season with new teams joining the series. Skydive Dubai Falcons sends Hasha Al Maktoum and Saeed Al Mihairi, Million Racing former DTM driver Hubert Haupt and Mikhail Chef to the races. But last year's champion Clement Schmidt of Al Nabuda Racing and two-time winner Abdulaziz Al Faisal of Saudi Falcons won't let it go easy and push their limits to win the title. The starting grid for the opening race of the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East sees champion Clement Schmidt on first position, Kuwaiti teenage driving star Zaid Ashkanani on second, and Abdulaziz Al Faisal on third. Schmidt retains the lead as rival Al Faisal loses a position to Dubai Falcons Hasha Al Maktoum. I think that's a good reasonable start for us to just to stay out of trouble, especially on the first few corners. I had a really bad start and then it was a tough race. Christina Nielsen and Saudi Falcons Faisal Bin Laden, who already fought some tough track battles during the last season, get into another dogfight for position seven. I just gave him a little push, nothing spectacular, but he was already out on the edge, so therefore he lost the car. Sometimes you get a good day, sometimes you don't, so... Kareem Al Azari of Nabuda Racing gains two positions during the race and finishes on third. Got to defend Al Nabuda Racing's title. Uh, today was a good start. Clement Schmidt clinches an undisputed victory. It was a great start in the season. Holding off challenge from Kuwait's Zaid Ashkanani, who finished second. It really was a great race. My best result. An action and drama-packed first race at the Bahrain International Circuit sets high expectations for the forthcoming season of the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East. Stay tuned for more action from race two of the leading one-make series in the Middle East.